What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is iRacing GT3 Challenge from Suzuka. We're going to be doing a 30 minute race, the endurance racing season, air quotes there, highly suggested, is over. So, well, three more races remain this season, okay, three more Going weeks, green. all 30 minutes, sadly, as a McLaren driver. But uh, yeah, Suzuka, mighty fine track, can't go wrong. Everybody likes Suzuka. Looks like we're starting seventh place in car number seven. So a little grip in this early lap. Tire pressure is really low, tire temperature is really low. Just want to get the car around the track. <laughs> Could have gotten the power way earlier there. Way, way, way earlier. Now into 130R, which is um, <laughs> fun. Yeah, fun. Okay, it looks like we're up and, and running and everything's smooth and, and settle into a, into a race. Get a bit of a rhythm going. Need to take it easy through the S's here. It's pretty funny how in practice I thought my best corner was the hairpin, but it seems to also be my worst corner versus my competition. Not sure how that one happens, but well, it is quite clearly happened. I say I really like the chicane this week. It just seems to be my spot. Instantly, like found my spot where I need to be braking and feel really confident in that corner. Got three McLarens in the top five. Yeah, baby. 
That's what I like to see. This week I am running a sort of interesting car setup in the sense that I'm trying something that I've never tried before like at all, let alone raced with. That is low friction brake pads with no ABS. Yeah, I'm not, I just kind of figured, you know, I have a tendency I think to over slow the car. So if I run with brake pads that by design, slow the car a lot less. Then maybe I will actually go into the corner, use a little bit more trail braking, and uh, not upset the car as much, and not get the car to plow as badly through the corners. In theory, and uh, that guy almost almost went around. Hi right, boys, remember me? And remember this guy? This guy was in like several of my uh, HPD fixed races. And we were basically exactly the same pace in every single one of them. Like to an infuriating degree because I kept having to track him down ever so slightly and our paces were just so equal and yes I was three wide into turn one at Suzuka in GT3 series and everybody survived Sounds like something interesting must have happened in the field. Now here's where it gets interesting. The guy behind me, we were in a race, uh, literally the time slot before this, two hours ago, and I did one of those and that upsets the car a lot. And next thing you know, I'm uh, going a lot slower on the exit of 130R than I'd like. And he went for a pass to the right, to the outside, inside going in the chicane. And he basically caught me faster than he was expecting to catch me. And then he got caught up by the fact that the roof has better brakes. And he just got into the back of me, which unfortunate incident, but you know, whatever. Just something to keep in mind. Boy, the arguments. So I'm hoping by now this guy's realized that I'm going to be breaking earlier than he is. In all likelihood. But not necessarily enough to uh, go all Geronimo dive bond mode.
I think that's kind of been partly to blame because of iRacing and the fact that we've had spec racing for so long that, you know, everybody's driving the same cars and, you know, you figure, oh, hey, if he can break there, I can break there, so we're going to be breaking the same spot, whereas that's not necessarily the truth in a series like this. which will be really interesting to see what happens with the BMW when that is released here in a couple of weeks. Because that car should, in theory, be pretty good in the corners. We'll see what kind of mayhem results. Was well, that the same lap time on back-to-back -back laps? For me, I got the timing stripes confused. Although I will say, at least this guy has good taste in in liveries. Whatever, he's stuck behind a player's Forsyth Racing throwback than a uh, yet another Martini livery roof. Because God knows I've seen a bajillion of those. I think we all have, though, to be honest. Not unique in any way like that. Got sort of a uh, loosely formed pack here. Doesn't seem like anyone's getting away from anybody else. Had a bobble there. Going too deep into the hairpin. Need to slow it down to go faster. got a good run. Let's see what happens. You can really see the McLaren bounce in that chicane, though, when you take too much curb, which, convenient segue, apparently uh, iRacing is going to finally have multi-way adjustable dampers. Coming up next build as they added them for the Z4 GT3, which I would expect that this car would also probably have them seeing how GT3's pretty much the roadside participation fiesta that it is.
we'll see if those damper adjustments will allow us to uh, not pogo stick as badly. And then there's also been mention that uh, traction control will be coming, which I'm actually excited to see, even though I pretty much always 100% entirely race without assists on. But with the way that iRacing implemented ABS, I really think that uh, they'll probably end up doing a very good job of it. As well as the fact that I don't like it in other sims because they make it into a <laughs> you can't drive the car type thing rather than a, this is what the car is actually equipped with. Feel free to use it or not. I think this guy behind me is faster. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure he's faster. I think maybe you know, he could get up there and start racing with the guy in front of me and slow them both down. It's like I'm not about to just let someone pass me in one of these races when... It's clear he's not, uh, like, supremely, supremely, supremely head and shoulders faster than I am. I heard contact. I heard contact. The guy behind me is no longer behind me. What just happened? What's been hit? What's been hit? You want to try and keep it tight there coming out of the chicane through that downhill right hander, but it seems like kind of an either or driver preference type thing. there is scary like scary scary like lock up the children this movie is rated more than R you know it's that scary yes more than R I guess I'd make it NC-17 And what did I say about this guy and his pace versus my pace? Although corners like that are not helping the cause. Yourself. Don't put it into the grass in rain 130R. Okay, thanks, bye.
Like really, just just don't put it into the grass when you go into a fast, tricky left-hand corner. And where, what's this guy? Smoking kills. But makes racing more awesome. <laughs> That funny how that happened though. Although I guess in a way the uh, cell phone companies, cellular providers, are more or less stepping up into the whole fill or hole left by uh, Marlboro. Roll. much racing as I watch, you'd think I should be like a 70,000 pack a day smoker. I mean, yeah. Never smoked. Don't plan it on it either. It's kind of disgusting. But hey, you know, that's your decision. Yes, random thoughts at 130 miles an hour. Won't be an empty box video without him. Seriously, this guy, he he's too too the same. It's like racing myself. Only myself always gets like a one second head start. That's like pretty much exactly what this guy is. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Went in deep. A bit too deep. Roof guy's back. Let's use that torque. Hold it tight. Get to there decently enough every time. Oh. <laughs> not. That's not what I needed because I was trying to let him by because he's faster. And I want to get him by because I think... No, I was... No, I was trying to play some strategy games there. <laughs> I rolled out of it and he just didn't want to go through. Dang it. Okay. 
Come on, get me all the way down to one. Let's add a little bit of ABS. Move the brakes back just a little bit. If uh, maybe we can magically find a couple of seconds here. Then again, I am racing myself in a different painted car from a different portion of the world. But, uh, yeah. It is really annoying though when you are like the exact same pace with someone and you always like right there. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> makes it makes it exciting though. And with a little bit of ABS, there I can attack Degner too a little bit harder. Which I think there's more speed left and myself in that corner. So that's why I made the adjustment. They said use all the roads, so I did. <laughs> in two minutes. We're gonna have two laps left. One lap? No, BS! Short change. Once again, I racing, timing, and scoring. Screw me over! Oh man, that's that is a new PB for me. Followed up by a very terrible turn one. Not screw the hairpin up. I screwed that corner up. Oh, we came out of the hairpin good. I mean, it's still a very, very, very large gap. <laughs> Is your heart racing? <laughs> oh god. Undies have been soiled. Good race, uh Bashkin. Very good pace.
on that dude. Hold on, Cyril. Hold on, Joel. Thank you. What it's happened over. to you, uh, Bono? Great job, you did really well. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Joel, are you going to return that shopping trolley? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's let's just go take a look at that sideways exploitation right there. That was uh. It was funny. It, uh, early on, the, the car was all over the shop. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't necessarily look like a lot of a uh, slip angle to a lot of you guys who. Uh, go drifting and all that stuff like that but but trust me when you're that when you're doing that in the middle of a spoon curve you're pretty much holding on for dear life and hoping oh god oh god oh god don't don't blow up in my hands but uh yeah that was that so i'm gonna go figure out what happened to a uh, roof guy tossing the three wide and a turn one so hope you guys enjoyed me racing a guy who's more or less myself on speed to a crazy degree so i bye Thank uh you. -huh.